This is a game you play on the golf course with a threesome or foursome, and you only need one game per foursome. This group's decided to play for $2 a chip. Everyone agrees on the value of each chip. What this means is that for every positive chip a player has at the end of 9 or 18 holes, each player owes him $2, or whatever the agreed value is. However, for every negative chip they have, that player must pay each player $2, or whatever the agreed value is. This is where it gets fun. If a player hits his ball into the woods, he gets the tree chip. Now he is on the hook for $2 for each player, unless, unless he gets rid of it before the 18th hole. How does he do this? Simple. The next time he sees another player go into the woods, it could be the very next shot, or perhaps nobody goes into the woods for another three or four holes from now. For example, on the fifth hole, somebody else goes into the woods. Now the person that had the tree chip can get rid of it. It is always the last person that completes the positive or negative task. It looks like our beer guy just eagled. If a player eagles a hole and another player eagled an earlier hole, the player that just eagled must demand that chip from the previous player that eagled. Caution. Make sure you get that eagle chip before you walk off the green. If you don't ask for that positive chip before you walk off the green, it's too late. Same with the negative chip. It looks like the beer guy knocked his ball into the water. Looks like he's trying to drop a ball before anybody sees him. Don't expect your buddy to admit doing the same negative shot that you did. Keep your eyes on these guys. Here's our most popular chip the beer or beverage chip. This is only used on par threes. <laughs> beer chip rule, only used on par threes. Whoever has the worst tee shot gets the beer chip. If it is in your pocket when a beer cart comes by, Guess who's buying around? How do you get rid of it? Better get to the next par three and have a better shot before the beverage cart catches you. <laughs> Vegas Golf offers many additions that may or may not include all of the chips. However, individual chips can also be purchased online. Keep viewing if you like a brief explanation of each chip. If not, you may view on our website the definition of chips, which will give you a brief explanation of all the chips we now offer. Vegas Golf. One game, <laughs> lots of laughs. Longest drive. The longest drive on all par fives. 
but it must be in the fairway. Birdie, one under par. One putt. Once you are on the green, it takes one putt to sink it. Three pars in a row. When someone scores par or less in three consecutive holes. Tip, make this two times the bet. Eagle, two under par. Chip in. When a ball is off the green and is chipped onto the green and into the hole. Closest to the pin. Normally played on par threes. Best tee shot. Sandy. Out of the sand trap and in the hole in two shots. Wild. Whatever rule your group would like to make up can be a positive or negative. Your group must decide before teeing off on the first hole. Skull. This is when someone tops a ball. If there's any question whether it was a skull or not, it goes to majority vote. Lady chip. It can be used if one does not drive past the ladies tee and or can be used if one misses a putt from less than two feet away. Note, ladies, don't be offended. We know you are better than most men. Guys, if you're playing with the ladies and a lady outdrives you, you must pay two times the wager of the chip on the spot to the lady that drove you. She must ask for it after her drive. It is too late if she asks for it after her second shot. There is no exchange of the chip, just a given rule for the ladies. Put off. When your ball's on the green and a player puts it off the green. Grave digger. When it takes more than one shot to get out of a sand trap. The beer chip. If it's in your pocket, when a beer cart comes, you must buy around if you have the worst tee shot on a par three. Only to be used on a par three. Lost ball. Losing a ball. Tip. Set a time limit to look for lost balls. Water. When a player hits their ball into the water. Worm burner. When a ball screams across the grass and never gets into the air. Three putt. Once a ball is on the green, it takes three putts to sink the ball. Eight ball. Scoring an eight or more on a hole. Sand. When a ball is in a sand trap. Trees. When a player hits their ball into the trees or woods. If this is a gray area, majority rules. Seven. Scoring exactly a seven on the hole. Out of bounds. When a player hits their ball, out of bounds. Look for boundary markers. Frustration or cursing chip. When a player uses unusually loud foul language or throws or bangs his or her club on the ground. Get ready to pass this around after every swing. Magic carpet. When a larger than normal divot goes into the air with a bad shot. Sometimes with a divot going further than the ball. Can't putt this. This takes some of you back to the MC Hammer days. To start, the can't putt this chip will be given to the player furthest from the first hole when everyone is on the green and no one has putted. After the first hole, the player with the chip may challenge another player to a putt challenge. Both players must be a minimum of two flag sticks away from the hole. Closest to the hole in one putt wins. Winner of the putt challenge can gain one good chip off his or her opponent or give one bad chip to his or her opponent. Player with can't putt this chip can challenge any opponent on any hole. An optional rule must be decided before teeing off or this rule does not apply. Must be used on last hole and all players two flag sticks away must participate. The loser keeps the can't putt this chip. Our new you suck chip. We make this three times the wager. This is when you get three negative chips in a row. Easier than you think.